Hi everyone, happy Monday. It is a busy time of year. I found out that we have 40 kids signed up for Vacation Bible School this coming week, which will be at Hope UMC tomorrow until Friday. 40, four zero. So a big thanks to all of the volunteers who are going to be serving and volunteering this week. And just a big thanks to so many of you who have financially donated, you've donated um, maybe your time was set up, you've donated food. It's gonna be a really, really wonderful uh, outreach to the community. It's gonna be a wonderful ministry to our kiddos. And it has a lot to do with what I'm talking about tonight in tonight's devotional. So if you were at church yesterday, you will know that we talked about where we're from. We talked about um, the things that, the places that we come from, the people that we come from, and the experiences that have shaped us. Um, I think of that and I think of heritage. Um, and then when I think about what we are doing this week with Vacation Bible School, all of the wonderful things that are going on in the life of our church, I think of that as legacy. And so today I want to talk about heritage and legacy, how those two things are so important, how those two things are very biblical. Um, and I want to thank the International Leadership Institute for um, just the information and the inspiration for tonight's devotional. So heritage and, and legacy are related, but heritage again is just something that you inherit. Um, it's the thing that someone before you has passed on to you. So we can inherit um, our genetics. We can inherit land. We can inherit property. Um, we can inherit all kinds of amazing quirks from our family of origin. Uh, heritage is where we come from. So, you know, you think of heritage tours and you think of doing an ancestry.com uh, research project and discovering that you have a lot of family from Ireland. And so you're going on a heritage journey to Ireland because you know that you have family there. Um, I also watched a very moving uh, video on Queen Latifah, uh, who is an actress. She is a black actress in Hollywood, and she discovered who freed her ancestors. She actually read the, em the emancipation document, the emancipation document that freed her ancestors from slavery, making them free people. And it really was emotional because again, that is her heritage. And so our heritage is so important because it is a part of us and it is where we come from and who we come from. But legacy, legacy is what we are going to leave or pass on to someone else. I think of legacy when I think of all of the children and youth ministry programs that we're doing at the church because we want to continue the legacy of our church, Hope United Methodist Church, all of the churches in Billings and throughout the world, we want them to have a wonderful place to be their spiritual home when we're gone and we have the kiddos that grow up um, and they take over. So the children are the future of the church and our children are so important and we have a divine calling to leave a legacy for them. Um, when I think about heritage, I think about all the way back in Genesis chapter 12, when Abraham receives the call. The call of Abraham, the Lord said to Abram, before he got his name changed, go from your country, your people and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all the peoples on earth will be blessed through you. So Abraham was obedient. And we see again that we have the promises and we have the inheritance 
of our foremothers and forefathers who have gone before us, of the cloud of witnesses and the cloud of saints that go before us, um, the heritage that we have in faith goes all the way back to the Old Testament. Um, and we knew that Abraham trusted in God to fulfill the, the covenant promise of God, and Abraham was counted righteous. Um, and this was later realized in the final fulfillment of the covenant, which is in Jesus Christ. And so our heritage gives us strength. It gives us clarity, hope, encouragement, and points us back to our foundation. Again, our roots. That's kind of what I associate heritage with is our roots. And our Christian roots obviously ultimately culminate with Jesus, but they were as early as the Abrahamic covenant. Um, the next is legacy. And it is important for us to remember that we are leaving a legacy. Um, our lives impact other people. I think about so many movies, um, but It's a Wonderful Life definitely comes to mind where the main character is feeling like I, my life doesn't matter. It probably would have been better if I hadn't ever been born. And he gets to see the unique impact that he makes and has made on the people around him. So our legacy is significant and it matters. The things that we do and the things that we invest in matters. What we give our time to, what we give our money to, um, is building a legacy for better, for worse, for the future generation. And as a pastor, because it's appointment, system, appointment season and new pastors are coming to new churches, like we've got a new pastor coming to Grace, a new pastor coming to Shiloh, and a new pastor going to Evangelical. It's so interesting because you think about them inheriting the legacy of the church. And so all of the churches have been building a legacy that somebody will inherit. Um, these churches are passing things on to the future. And so now, um, you know, Tyler and Wendy and Sarah have left this legacy um, that these new pastors are going to inherit. Um, we all leave behind a legacy and we all um, have lives that matter and leave an impact. And so when we forget our heritage, we lose so much wisdom. And honestly, I think it's really easy to forget who we are. We lose who we are, our identity. We fail to learn from the mistakes of our ancestors and honestly, the mistakes of our own past. Um, the quote I always think of is, those who forget history are doomed to repeat it. Alt alternatively, when we neglect our legacy, we are prone to lose focus on our spiritual lives or we think that we have no influence or impact. Um, we need to continue realizing that what we do, like Vacation Bible School, the youth mission trip that we're doing, all of the ministry and outreaches, the fall festival, Sunday school, that is investing in the future generation of the church and leaving a legacy that one day um, will be theirs to inherit. So I pray um, for us to continue being faithful um, and that we would continue to pass the torch to the future leaders of the church. And I am so thankful for just the heritage, the place that I come from, um, and it's and it is from a incredible church family that loved me that raised me and that took a interest in my spiritual faith um, and now I'm a pastor so I'm so thankful for all of the volunteers who uh, were my vacation Bible school volunteers I went faithfully every year I went to Sunday school every week and I'm so crazy about Jesus now that I do this for a living. So remember that the little things that you do, whether it is giving 10 bucks, helping out, um, blowing up balloons, gluing crafts down, saying a prayer, it matters and it's making a huge difference in the kingdom of God. I will see you all on Wednesday prayers and blessings to all of you and i hope that you have a wonderful monday night bye